Hello, hello! Wolflets and whatever, wolf, wolf cobs and people that watch Enter the Wolf Time. Hello, hello. And welcome back to Enter the Wolf Time Does D&D Part... Um, Something or other! Um, I think it's 41. Part 41, 41 <laughs> potentially, we do not know. You are joined by me, the miraculous, marvellous Gideon Morningwood with the biggest cock in the world. And you're also joined by the wonderful half-elf Lyra, who's played by Ems. The diabolic, dangerous, deadly, uh, demented mind of uh, Mr. Pidge, who is eating pizza. I appreciate sure. And we have a um, overseer. Uh, we have um, James. Hello. Oh, okay. Yeah. So where were we? So, ah, oh, pizza's quaffing. <laughs> um, so our heroes got to the sunken island. Um, so far, they've oh, been yeah, we did. through several rooms. Um, salient points. Um, Lyra has a key that she got off a ghost child in the kitchen. Yep. She's not sure what it goes to. There is a set of stairs with a big double door um, on the far left hand side of the complex. Um, they saw some hellhounds run to it and a big blue flash of light and they were gone. Um, they got into the shrine and defeated the monster that was there and found a scorched book which Hannah believes to be some kind of sanctuary ritual, but they need it translated because they don't know ancient Elvish. They found five uh, pedestals, each needing an item to go on it, and a big elaborate door. Um, and after they'd realized what the, um, the pedestals were, giant flaming demon a big thing scary demon. appears. Um, so they run off and go the other way. Um, Gideon, um, they find these four rooms, um, guest rooms. Um, Gideon searched one of them found a table with um, a combination on it, such an other one, found a, um, a strong box of safe behind a painting, looked inside it and there were three uh, magic books written in Elvish, got pulled out, oh these are all flooded by the way, got pulled out of it and they realise that three suits of elven armour have awoken and start fighting them. <laughs> Gideon gets knocked out and takes some serious injuries. Takes some serious injuries, so Gideon's leg is out of commission for two days. He had the um, so we meet our heroes in the uh, southeast corridor. Um, Gideon recovering the um, the animated armor has just collapsed into nothingness. Yeah, we kicked its ass! No! After me launching two epic fireballs. <laughs> I believe it was Lyra who got the last hit though. I do believe it was. <laughs> yeah, but my, 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 yeah, but I'm so much more epic. I'm pretty sure I uh... Your dying skills or something's been yeah, my, I'm sorry, my, I was being pretty inventive. You know, stick, for going back into the room, sticking my head in the safe to breathe a little bit whilst the shit went down. I thought stuff. I was pretty, pretty out, outside the box thinking. <laughs> okay, so what do we want to do, guys? I think we need, um, we need to rest. Gideon, your leg much. is knackered. Yeah, you could walk with the aid of um, somebody else. So we're going to carry <laughs> we're you. We're going to carry you, Princess um, Dale. <laughs> I think we should go back. Um, I don't want to go there. I don't want to go to the. I don't want to go near anywhere near that fire thing here. You don't want to go back to the. No, room I think with we should. Officers. I think we should rest in the. Sub. Near the sub. In the sub. I think we should rest in the sub for okay. however long it takes for you to get ready. Yeah. So try yeah. and level up and sleep. Do you agree with that? Yeah, why the fuck not? I'm crippled anyway. So, um, Grumbo picks you up and just goes, Rest easy, my friend. <laughs> um, Grumbo, um, they walk back to the submarine, ignoring the two rooms that they um, they haven't searched yet. We'll, we'll go back there. And um, you're trying to go to sleep, yeah? Yeah, I'm trying to rest for a few days. So, um, can everybody make a willpower check? Oh, oh, yes. If Hannah fucking passes again, right, okay, what, I had to get over under oh, your. Uh, Yours is 12. Under your willpower. Oh, on, on, on the 12. Yes! Tara gets to sleep. Tara gets to sleep. Lyra. 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 No, we'll do yours in a bit. James. Please, please, please. Lyra. Please, please. Lyra. Fuck. Can't get to sleep. <laughs> um, <laughs> Hannah needs under 18. <laughs> Hannah is so late. The first time um, ever she's stuck. Grumbug needs sleep. three or less. Oh, oh really. he so almost did. Hannah, Grumbug, and Lyra are all. It makes sense for me to be getting ter sleep, though. Terrified from the nightmares that <laughs> like, Gideon's like, fuck, okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> don't even care. And Gideon gets some kit. Um, how long are you guys willing to wait for Gideon? You how make... long does it take him to get ready? Um, it will take him six hours to get fully ready. Um, Hannah will need to heal his leg, though. Can I, re can I get to reroll my healing surge? And Hannah has no faith to heal his leg with. Can I reroll my healing surge because I slept? 
Um, yes. Please, because I've got like none otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it D6? Um, yes. Oh, two D6. No, it's just D6. Come on, really something else. No plus. Well, I'm gonna die. Yes! Yeah, six healing surges! Hallelujah! Um, Do I get, regain full health as well? No, you don't gain any health. When you wake oh. up. And then I can use So you wake up with six healing surges and eight health. So you feel now, like shit? Back up. And your leg feels like shite. My leg's like, ah, oh, my fucking my leg! Arm. Yeah, like, eight HP. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to Ow. use a couple of healing surges yeah, to get the, back. The halberd got like a good slash into your forearm as well, but you've kind of bandaged over your own. Use a healing surge, it's 2d6, isn't it? It is, it's gonna come back. So I think I'm gonna try, I'm gonna use. So you sleep for six hours, Lyra, Gumbrug, and Hannah are all <laughs> toss and turn, trying to get to sleep, but don't Being manage Gumbrug, it. I'm not having a good time. Um, do you guys want to do anything while um, he's asleep? Or do you want to go wander off on your own while he's asleep? Can Hannah what? read me? What were the books that they found? No, they're all my pens be chewed. Yeah. Yeah. Help me. Um, no, I don't want to go wandering. That seems like a really bad idea. I think you should go into this room and try and say hello to the demon. Just for a little bit. Just, just, just go in and just go. I hear right. Check, check it's still I'm there. sorry if we've woken you up, right? Can you please, can you please just Lara, go? Lara, you sleep? might want to use your healing surge. I'll use my healing surge as the dungeon master tells me so. Um, Hannah's definitely going to use her. She's seeing as she has fucking five. Uh... So Hannah heals. I'm going five. to use. I'm going surge. to use two healing surges. So. Oh, I oh, oh, yeah, broke. Oh, yeah, double six. Yeah, six. So I'm, I'm going to use two healing surges. Do I? I'm going to use two healing surges. A three, a four, five, six, seven. Oh, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight yeah. nine, eleven. Eleven. So, so you heal eleven. Nineteen. 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 Um, Hannah heals up to full. Grumbug. Uh, Grumbug has no healing. Surges. Do you know what? Fuck it. I'm going to use another healing surge as well. Just try and get over 20. 6, 7, 8, 9. So that's 20. 28. 28. Sweet, I'll take that. Okay, so six hours pass, you. And you have um, three healing surges left. Um, even yeah. though um, Lyra and Grumbug don't get any sleep, the rest kind of makes them feel a bit better. Um, Grumbug um, toss and turns, just going. Man, I wish I had a drink right now. Oh, <laughs> you're feeling a little bit sober. Yes, I miss Samson. Well, when was the last time you were sober? Don't ask him that off, Pop. Sorry. Um, um, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just getting rather irritable. I'm sorry. Um, okay, so what do you guys want to do? I guess we'll go for a while. Gideon, you're going to walk with a lot. Oh! Can I, is Hannah not healed me? She's yeah, not but here, you're still she's got no prayers. Oh, gay. But I'm still, I'm, I, can I walk, can I walk still? So? You can limp. Using your so you'll be very slow, you won't be able to run, you won't be able to dodge. Oh boy. If you're gonna fight, you stand well back. Do you want me to try and yes, give, give you a frightening a, a lightning sword? Yes, please. Right, okay. okay. So I've got I've got I have, Gideon has a lightning room um that he's gonna try and put into I'm really So Em's you've got you've got a, 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 a I have two magic swords. If you look, if you look on your eyes. Oh right, because you have a ring I've that got, sets one on fire and you've got one. one that can just have an empty space. She's yeah. got she's got she's got one Magma Forge Sword with a Rune of Shadow and an and, and empty slot. And she's got another one with two empty slots. I'm well, going to give you the I'll, empty one. Yeah, the empty one. Easier. But if, if you use your fire, your hand with a fire ring, you've got, you actually have a frightening blade. I know, yeah. Right, okay, so I've got to get over. So which sword do you want to try and put it in? The, the one that's empty. Sword. empty. Okay, so you have to get over 15 with your bonus or minus of your rune craft. I so my, my bonus, yeah. Rune uh, oh, yeah, so smithing is eight. Yeah. So. Was it? You have to, you get, have to get over fifteen, so you're gonna need a. Seven. You have to get over. I need, I need to get over a seven on a roll. Twelve. Yes! M's Gideon hasn't takes the sword. He oh, kind of pulls the rune into his hand, casts it over the sword, and the sword begins to spark with like an aura of electricity. Ah! I'm just gonna add that to your character sheets. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, Do you know what? I'm gonna try and I'm gonna try and cast the uh, use the rune of um, searing light on my staff as well. Okay, let me just do this. Do you know what I get some kind of gauntlets or bracelets that I could put a rune in? That'd be pretty cool. So your Magma Forge sword now does an additional plus one shock damage. Um, and if you remember, if you, if you get like over it, 15 with a hit on one hit on that, it'll stun one. Stun, yes. It'll stun the... I have a question. I have a question. What's this question? You know the demon? The demon, yeah. I think. 
Is it like a fire? Is it like an it's element? A fi- it's a fire it's demon, yes. Yeah, uh, so from what you know, it's just made of fire just and has fire. a so it's not like a, black know, face and arms made up of smoke. So I can't, like, you know, maybe suck it into my gauntlet and make it like... <laughs> that, that, would be that would be amazing! Sorry, Lumi, you've been evicted. I've got something more powerful! Oh, fire demon. No, okay. Go, fire demon Dave! <laughs> It just comes out, burns whatever it is, turns around and goes, hmm, ah. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. So I've got, so um, if I want to try and put um, the uh, Rune of Searing Light on my staff. Even By the way, we got these runes like ages ago. I've just never decided to actually use them until now. You're going to need we... over 20 because it already has one rune. Over 20? on get on, plus on. eight. So I'm going to so need... You need to get over 12. Over 12. 12. Come on, come on. 12! Yes! Yep. You oh just, my so God. I, you just so I, do it. I, na- I, na- I, na- it. I now have... A oh, what did they say it was stone the, the stonewood staff of searing light? Stonewood okay, staff. So I'm just gonna add that to your things. <laughs> so, so basically, you just had a really tough fight, and now you're upgrading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's like it's okay. not. I'm actually, um, right. Gideon's just, like just, a super saiyan, right? Whenever he dies and comes back, from there, he gets stronger. Just a reminder. Just, now? just a reminder of what yeah. searing light does. Um, you can turn bound light on and off, just as though you cast bound light on it. But you can also fire it out as like, a beam. Like a beam of light. Um, yeah. It doesn't have infinite yeah, range of beam, off. it will weaken after a while. Yeah. But like it, it goes about as far as you would expect a bow to fire. Like a Kamehameha of light. Yeah. Ha! Kamehameha. Will cause damage on those weak to light, otherwise can just light. So it. things like wraiths and, and, and demons and stuff like that. Possibly. Possibly. Mm. We don't know. No, we don't. We've got to right, so we've got where, 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 are we gonna, where are we going to limp this, this, is, this hair? Um, Lyra, so we should we, do you want to go back and search these other two rooms? Uh, you can, yeah. Um, Would you like me you can't it? swim. I can't swim. I'm gonna I'll get, do I've, it. I've, I've got a gangly leg. I've got a bum leg. Like, I can't. If you try to swim, you're just gonna go around in circles. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it. We'll do the same so as we did last go back, time. Go, go back to the corridor. Time. Yeah, so Ro. So you go back into the corridor, yeah? Lyra's Tie a rope around Lyra. Hit the rope. I'll get uh, which room do you want to go into? Well, we've been, we've been in these two, so it's the, it's the big room and the other big room. So you, too. you go through the door, it's the first room, the door, and you'll Right, Rumbug, I'll yank if you need me. Um, I'll yank it all and right. Oh, hi! Okay, so you 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 jump into the pool uh, room of water. I back up and um, I on your right hand side. There's a scorched table floating with three chairs floating around it. Yep, okay. Directly in front of you, there's a four poster bed that's oh, completely burnt really? to the fact that it's just a frame. Next to that, there is a um, a dresser, like a, a big cupboardy dresser. Um, next on the wall, opposite that, there's a picture. And on the wall to your left, as you directly go in, there is a, um, a small cupboard. Okay, I'll look at the. Can I? I'll just push as I as I go towards the cupboard. I'll push aside the painting. So anything behind okay, it? Okay, you swim over to the cupboard. No, so you swim over to the painting. You pull the painting off the wall. There is nothing behind. Uh, go to the cupboard. You go over to the cupboard. Yep. Yeah. Okay. They are burnt closed. The wood is fused closed. When it was can burnt. I kick it? You can try and hit it, but remember you can't get a lot of power into a punch or a kick while you're underwater. Unless you're Muhammad Ali. Yeah, true. Kind um, of like a bit of fasting like a bee. I'll just kind of, can I kind of just shake it? Pull it out. Want to shake it, yep. Yeah. Um, will you do a strength check for me, please? Yes, I will. Nine, Nine with your strength of... Mm. Oh, the base. Three, oh, the Yeah, you pass. Oh, the buttery um, base. So you, you grab this cupboard trying to open the doors and the entire cupboard falls off the wall. Excellent. There's nothing in there. Great. Pull me back out. I'll just just go get some air. Yeah. <gasps> go back and go. You, you, pull, you tug on the rope. Grumbug pulls you out. You take a breath. Go back in. Nothing there. Back okay. In. To that thing. What that over that thing was. The bucket. Um, the, the cupboard. Yeah, cupboard. Um, yeah, it's a big um, dresser. Yeah. You swim over to the dresser. Again, it's sealed, sure. closed. Don't worry. Shake it. <laughs> Shake it. Stone. Scrum check. Fall. Um, nothing happens. Can I kick it. You can try and kick it. Yeah. Um, um, just be you just put your running. foot through it and the whole thing collapses. There appears to be nothing in there. Oh, and there's nothing behind you, is it? No. Okay, post a bed? Um, that's just the frame of the bed. The frame of the bed. Okay, I'll get pulled back out and yeah. go into number three then. So there's nothing in that room? Nope. So you go into the one opposite it, again, plunge in. Yep. To your um, left hand side, there is a vanity, so like a, um, a makeup table with a with a chair at it. Nice. Um, directly in front of you, there's another four poster bed, burnt to a crisp. Next to it, there's a chaise long. <laughs> <laughs> um, really? And to your far right, there is another, a bookshelf with a painting next to it. I'll go to the vanity table. Okay, you go over to the vanity. 
Is there anything on it? Or floating uh, there's nothing on it. The like chair drawers. is like floating around next to it. There are drawers and stuff all over it. Yeah. The there's a mirror that was like cracked and blackened. I'll pull open the drawers. Okay, they are sealed shut. I will yank the door. Strength the drawers check, please. off again. My friend, come on. Nope. Um, you fail in that time. You pull on it, um, like the knob bu- um, pulls off in your hand. <sighs> Can't open it. <laughs> <laughs> you can try a different way to open it up. I will, I will pull out my dagger, stick my dagger in it, and I'll yank my dagger. Yeah. Okay, so you stab your dagger into the burnt wood. Yep. Strength check again. Um, Eight, nine, this seven. time you stab your dagger in and as you pull it back, part of the wood um, peels away and you can see down from the... Basically, you broke a hole in the top of it. You can see down into the drawer and suddenly you realise you're running out of breath. Mm. Yank, yank. Okay. Do I have to um, fortitude? Yeah, you will have to do a fortitude. Do I have to get over, you have to get over your fortitude? Okay, no I can do that. No, I can't. I'm drowning. Um, <laughs> you, you take D3 drowning. I had epic fortitude and I was doing my thing. Great. So, yeah, I think you too. So you take two damage from drowning, then you pull on it. Grumbuck pulls you out just as you take like, <laughs> a, a lung full of air, a lung full of like, water. Sorry, I was looking at the side. Sorry, I found something cool. <laughs> okay, back in. So Don't bite me. Swim over, yep. What's in the hole? Okay. What's in the hole, Grumbuck? There's the like goosey face. I know, yes. Sir. Jeez. Um, you look in. There is a um, a silver necklace with an emerald. Is it? <gasps> Take. Ooh. Silver and emerald necklace. <gasps> Pretty lootage. Oh, Likes nice. shiny things. Yeah, I'll loot on. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Okay, so. Silver and emerald necklace. So pawn that off and get gold for it. Unless it's magical. Okay, uh, anything else I can see? Um, does the uh, perception check? Alright. 18. Um, you peer around the rest of the room and you think that there's probably nothing else. Here. Okay, I'll go back. That means there's nothing else. No. <laughs> so you, you, you get pulled out again, yeah? It's like, look what I've got! Right, look what I got! I'm just there like. So hey, you've, you've searched all the rooms. Do you want to see if it's like magical or anything like that? Sure. Yeah, arcane check. Arcane check. Arcane check. So, uh, um, with my bonus of like, you get no sense of magic. So it's just like, man. Nah, it's just a necklace. <laughs> it would go very nice with my red ruby and gold ring, though. Fuck off. It's mine. Gideon's gonna cast it in Force Will. Oh, I know you are not. <laughs> no, I'm not really. Come on, give. Nah, 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 I'm not gonna ask me. I've well, only used it on you once before. I will use willpower to stop it. That's why you wish you were a wizard as well, so you command him to run. I know, yeah. Ah, my legs. Just flop on the floor. Oh, it got my ears. Ah! <laughs> okay, so um, face. you seem to have cleared out these rooms. Is there anything you want to do? Um, so remember, at the end of the corridor, there's this big um, window wrapping round, and then there were three platforms oh, yeah, with yeah, um, yeah. with armor on that have all obviously gone out. Do you want to indulge there's, in your hobby of looking out windows? There's, there's, there's a door. There's a door. There's a door to the left of the window. Oh, shit, I didn't even see that. Yeah, that's a door there. There's a door to the left, and then if you wrap around the corridor, there's two more windows and double doors leading to an outside garden. Oh, yeah, and you can see you can see a building to the right of the garden and another corridor. Right, okay, this is what I'm going to do, okay? I'm going to look out the window here and see what's on this big Okay. okay. So you watch the end of the corridor, look out the window. Can right. you see? No you, no, you can't see. Um, you can. can see that there is... On the other side, there's another set of windows like a big um, circular room, um, almost like a tower, but it doesn't go up very high, so it's just this big cylindrical room. Um, and it seems that the entire wall on that side is glass. Oh my god! It's um, the, the window of all windows. <laughs> one, <laughs> window, all window. one window to <laughs> roll. Um, inside, you can't see very much, but you can see kind of light glowing from in there. Okay, right, let's go into this door and go, 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 go! I think we should be more cool rather than just <laughs> we're here. <laughs> no, we should be like let's just open and peek in and see what we can see rather than just like well, this we're is, here. This is going to be a corridor that leads into this, this area. So, so, so. Sometimes being an onlooker gets very frustrating because you're like, I know what I do. <laughs> you can't say anything. What would you do, James? What would I do? Hey, no insight. You have to be stupid. Yeah, yeah, you've I've, seen the map, haven't you? I, I will. I will into your head. <laughs> I think we should working? run in. And take on the demon head first. This is the will of the you're will a, of James. You're a wizard, man. <laughs> I'm a wizard cripple. Right. You have powers. I'm. I'm Do I don't care what you're doing. Okay, I'm just going to go in first then. Can you just take a backseat on this one? Because you're on the door. Take it off. Yeah. I thought wizards were meant to be smart. <laughs> you come to a, you come to a curved corridor. We are smart, but just um, not very good. You come to a very small curved corridor. There are a set of. There's a door here. 
that has a um, a book inscribed on it, like the symbol of a book, like a carved book. Yep. And the corridor also seems to turn along to your right into the room that you okay, just so, saw, basically. So we'll, the group will go, like, <laughs> this way, and we'll peer around the, the, the corridor. Okay, you peer around the cor- corridor. Do you want to take the uh, finger? Uh, it's like opening up a canvas. Oh, pretty. Okay. Oh, no, it's coming away with the thing. You're going to have to take a picture of this, you know, and stick it on the thing. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can use, I've just wrecked the map. map. That'd be actually very helpful for, you, for YouTube viewers so you, to see the map. You look around the corner and you see that on the um, this is basically a giant circular room. Um, it's got a big mosaic of um, uh, elven swirls in the middle. The entire, all of the walls are glass. Like this entire thing surrounded in glass. <laughs> there is a chandelier in the middle of the room, but instead of it having candles, it's got like nine um, floating globes of arcane light orbits in it. Oh. Um, and on the very o- on the opposite of the room to where you are, there is a stage um, with four steps going up to it. And on the stage, there are two. Um, Kind of metallic looking statues of phoenixes going in towards each other. Oh, 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 it's like the, it's like oh, the drama. So I don't yeah. like rooms with lots of glass because we're underwater. Yeah, but they're not gonna <laughs> um, basically, it's a ballroom. Oh, let's dance, Gideon. Crystal oh. burst into the. Oh, yeah, you've got, got a bum leg. Hannah, <laughs> come down to me. Just she, says, she, she says, uh, there's a time and a place for everything right now. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I love no. Hannah's voice, it's fucking really I can just imagine, like, Gideon's stood on Grumbug's <laughs> feet, and Grumbug's <laughs> dancing around with him. Did nobody get the Pokemon reference? There's a time and a place for everything right now, like Larry just don't get on a bike. Grumbug turns and goes, I don't dance. Oh, I don't do dancing. Larry just spins on the spot for a little bit. <laughs> What do you want to do? He actually sees the room and just goes, I don't know, can't you, Dan? He goes, like, um, not now. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go towards. I want to Why go. don't you take your goat for a spin? <laughs> <laughs> oh. I want to go, go to the stage, please. Okay. <laughs> so who's entering the room? Just Lyra? We're all entering the room. We're just all okay. together. <laughs> so you easily get into the middle of the room. Oh, it's so funny. Okay, we go. Um, let me just get. Let me just find the dramatic music. Let let me, the no, let, let me find the page for it, actually. So this room's about. Um, yeah, it's a bit circular room, about nine meters in diameter. Um, the <laughs> ceiling is domed. Um, the floor's mosaic, and like I said, there's glass all the way around it. Two big scorched statues on um, on the top of the thing. Um, and suddenly you see something. Oh. Make, um, Gideon and Myra make perception checks. Okay, hang on. Eight. Myra makes two. Nineteen. And Gideon doesn't see anything. Um, he's kind of hobbling along with Grumbug helping him. Um, Myra goes in first. Um, Grumbug um, kind of like carrying Gideon, not like carrying him, but helping him along just behind. And Hannah behind with you as well, trying to keep safe. So Lyra gets in the middle of the room first, and suddenly she catches something in the corner of her eye, and out in, because b- b- bear in mind you're underwater, all you can see through this glass is the ocean, yeah. and like the bottom of the island, and all these like mm-hmm. coral reefs and stuff, and suddenly this big white thing flashes past you. Oh, oh no. Outside. 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 A white you, you literally catch it in the corner of your eye, and you see that it's white, and you see like a thin tail, and that's about it. Fuck, it's shark! Uh, don't like sharks. It's got a fin, it's, it's, it's a great white shark! Oh, <laughs> bit deep for one of them. It then, smelled your blood! <laughs> it smelled my fucking shit stained pants because I hate sharks! Uh, okay. else? Oh, well, I think there's something outside at all. Shark bastard! Go get on this stage quick because I'm going to get raised a bucket. It's outside, it's fine. I'm going to make a stage to Grumbug. Grumbug, get raised a bucket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, make perception second checks again. Oh crap, Jesus Christ. Do you want to go first? No, because I'm not on the stage. You're, you said no, you're she's not on the stage, she's in the middle of the room when she knows. Alright, oh, okay. I'll take another perception test, that's nine. You didn't see nothing again. <laughs> Lyra again notices something, and this time you see that between two spires of rock outside, you see a big, long, white, snake like body going in and out of them, and then it goes down into uh, the. I'm just gonna go right stop. I kind of might have seen a monster outside. Everybody freeze. Don't move. It can't Everybody see can't. us if we don't move. And there we go. Stop! Okay. Stop! Hammer time! Oh, <laughs> it's close <laughs> city today! No. Okay, wait. Well, I was like, okay, there's a thing outside the water. I don't like it. Did you see it? 
No! I don't like the way you said there's a thing outside! It's like long and snake like, and what was it? That's a fin! <laughs> it has a fin! It's white. You um, might want to back away from the saw. glass. <laughs> Just yeah, a bit. Gideon's gonna like. Like, on, let's get away from the windows, and we're gonna like walk backwards into the, the, cor- into the oh, corridor. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so you, Grumbug, um, and Hannah all get back into the corridor without being hindered in any way. Um, Lyra is now stood in the middle of the room on her own. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Why don't you go to the stage quickly? Because you can like fall. Oh, right, fine. You can I'm... leg it well, well far across. I use my L5 and my elf speed to run to the width, run okay, to so the you stage. Run. You run. Um, oh, you get to the steps of the stage. When suddenly you see something emerge <laughs> from behind the rocks. Uh, what? It's you a see, rave! <laughs> you see this gigantic motherfucking eel emerging out from behind the rocks. It's a dragon eel. It has like an, an armored scaled face, a body about 50 feet long. Covered in white scales, big fin at the end of its tail, like six, six, like six rows of fin, of like little smaller fins down its body, and it begins to circle around the room. Uh, Lyra, you're at the steps, and you basically see this thing fly past you. Uh, it looks pretty fast as well for something that size. Is there anything on the stage? I'm not moving. You're just looking, looking at the I'm, stage. I'm, I'm, freaking, I'm, I'm freaking out. Okay, do you have a perception check? Um, okay, so you're busy trying to work out what this thing is to get a proper look at the stage. Oh, fuck. Fine, what does it do? Suddenly, you see... You basically try to look at the stage and you look to the left and you notice that it's floating and looking right at you. These big oh. yellow eyes on this white body just staring at you. Don't with these, like, don't move. That makes don't me feel move. a bit sick. Don't move, don't move. Uh, can I perception check just to see if there's anything on the stage again? Uh, yeah. Get a high roll! Fuck me oh. again! Okay, so you kind of look to the thing to see if there's anything worth seeing it, and it kind of like begins to back away from you. It's gonna charge you! I know, I know! Do right. one! Do I one! Can't I can turn around and run as fast as I can. So you turn around and get to run, and as you do, this thing lunges oh, forward good. with incredible speed, and it like charges through the glass, what? runs through the room, and out the other side. Basically, it smashes from one side of the glass completely through the entire length of the room and dives out the other side of the glass. Ah! You need to do a agility no! check to dodge it. <laughs> 16! 16, and with your agility of. Something or other. <laughs> Three or two! Um, you just passed that. Jesus fucking So, yeah, it dives at you in its mouth going. <laughs> Is there, is there water coming Can I slide in? Can underneath um, it? No, the, the water doesn't You do barrier. Oh, that's what barrier. I was afraid of. It has the barrier now. Oh, um, right. So you roll under it, and then like, you're about in the centre of the room again, um, and as you see it dive out the out the other window, it begins to turn around and come back towards you. And Run! Out of the room. Um, do an agility check. Nine, two, ten, nine, ten, um, nine, two, yeah. You're almost out of the room when it dives through the window again at you. Um, See if you, a jelly jet, see if you can duck under it. I'm gonna punch it in the face. Eleven? Yeah, you manage to roll under it. It dives through a window on the other side, uh, begins to circle the room and sees that you're out of range and then disappears into some rocks. Whoo! You, you that just, was tough! You've literally I, just seen these two like, whooshing, whooshing, and we just go, and oh, Grumble's like, soon. what the hell <laughs> is that? As soon as I saw that sitting here, I was like, it's a boss arena. <laughs> Straight away, boss arena. I was just, I'm just there, like, I'm just literally slid, slid right into, like, you guys. Yeah, you got to the stage, saw it, started coming, and you were, like, running, like, flipping over it and running under it and stuff. It was, like, the coolest thing ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's um, probably not go back that way. Um, there might be an eel in there. <laughs> just FYI. Just, there, there might be something that's trying to get us. Why don't we go continue should, this way through I? this? Is this a door? I that is a door, there. Um, it's a door with a big book carved into it. Oh, maybe we can use the book. Maybe if we put the book. What? The book that I have. Yeah, that's going to be a library. Yeah, but maybe the book is like a, a key as well. Maybe the book will. Library's actually making more sense here. Uh, <laughs> <it's a book laughs> I know, but I thought. Like, I know, but normally it's going to be locked. Okay, fuck it, let's just go to there and investigate that door. Yeah. Okay, so you go over to the, the door at the end of the corridor. Um, like I said, big um, carved wooden door has an etching of a, um, a book on it. You just swing the door open. Oh, is it, is it just open? Well, you've not tried to open it yet. You just let me swing the door open. 
No, no, I'm asking you. Are you? Okay, yeah. oh, we're not. We're not going to just be like, bang. Okay, so Hello. Who's what up, bitches? Who's, I'll, who's I'll, opening the door? I'll, I'll open I'll, it. I'll okay, Em's Em's can open it cautiously. Okay. You're on Grumbug. Oh, that's a pirate. Okay. It's a library. I was right. Oh fucking hell! It's blue text running for too long. It's like it's been up like a day. Gl- yeah, no, it's <laughs> glued <laughs> itself. It's gone hard. Okay. Yeah. So you open the door and no, you appear in what seems to be a library. <laughs> Ho ho! Um, Librarian. Okay, so, um. Ooh, oh, wait a second, I'm on the wrong freaking room. Okay, so you enter the library. The library is 10 meters long with a big central kind of aisle running through the middle of it. You've actually come. From where you are, you can see books in front, like bookshelves rowed up in front of you. Um, and you see that there's probably an aisle in the middle, but that, that's away from you. Uh, basically, you're coming from the side of the room. So from what you can see, as soon as you come in, to your right hand side, there's like four meter long bookshelf. To your left hand side, another four meter long bookshelf and a window with double doors. And there are uh, three kind of like standing bookshelves on either side. Gideon's eyes light up and he's like, yes, fuck yes. By the way, they're all empty. Oh, are they? Oh. They've all burnt shit. They're just cindered bookshelves. Oh, okay. Can I? There's no point in a perception test. Oh, um, might be a see if there's else oh, okay, yeah, I might as well try and do a perception test. That's a five. Yeah, you don't see anything else. Lyra? I was thinking maybe it was like a book to translate something, or...? Okay, so, um... probably best to find Um, you can't see anything else interesting from where you are. Okay, so um, can we... Lyra can... notices that there's a weird green glow coming from behind some of the bookshelves. Dude, there's a green glow! It seems to kind of, like, flash and then disappear again. And then Dude, there's a green glow! Use your magical aura! Oh yeah, can I choose Arcane and see what it is? Um, yeah, you can see if... It's a seven plus, what, um, 13? You don't think it's any kind of magical light. So it's going to be a creature then. Ew. Creature craft? Can you do creature craft? craft? Yeah. Oh, I want to do creature craft. 20! No, yes! Oh my god, um, wizard boner extreme! <laughs> you pick up the distinct aura of um, a spiritual creature here. Um, and you also pick up an aura of a much stronger spiritual squeak. Like this, you basically get this feeling that there's lots and lots of trapped souls here, and there's one that's much more powerful than the rest. Soul really tall. Sorry. Okay, cool. So it's like, so you don't actually know. No, well, you've, not, you've not seen it, so you. Oh, know. so from Epic Twenty, I only just that's what you said. Because you've not actually seen it. Uh, let's okay. just should we just do a do, should we just do a Lyra and Gideon walk into the room? Um, I'm mean, I, okay. I'm as the, as the wizardly wizard. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna. Can I'm I sneak? Gonna, so at the moment, Gideon and um, Grumbug are taking up the door. Lyra and Gideon okay. just be. I'm, I, I know there's, there's something in here. I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of be like. Are you um, convey this information to anybody else? Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, <laughs> say, I'm gonna say, don't be alarmed. There appears to be many souls in here. Well, we know that. We'll some more, some more powerful than others. However, I don't quite sense hostility yet. Let me try and commune. With, the, with, 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 the, with these creatures. What would that be? Would that be like a um, arcana? Kind of, or, to commune with them? Yeah, or just, 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 hello. Start them. All right, well, okay, okay. Um, Gideon's gonna be, Gideon's gonna be like, you just say hello. Hello, we come in peace. Uh, um, giants. You hear, <laughs> Oh, it's kids! Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded a bit creepy. <laughs> sure. Oh, and the small quits like, right. Basically, <laughs> basically, you would hear that kind of childish laughter um, emerge from like different positions in the room. Some's further in the distance, some like right next oh. to you, some right behind the bookshelves. Um, and then they all just kind of go hee 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 around you, oh. and then they all just kind of be quiet. Okay. These kids are, oh yeah, because, yeah, library, fun times. We, 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 we mean you no harm. We come seeking knowledge. Um, you hear them again going hee hee hee, and then you hear something else going shh. <gasps> Is it, is like, I was gonna say like, oh fuck, is it like they've seen off Ghostbusters? Get her! <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that. Don't ever make that noise again. Does anyone get that? You, you get that. Do you get that? I don't like Ghostbusters now. What? I, I scared me. I, when I was very little, I used to be terrified of it. Ah, what's you know, your favourite one though? Ghostbusters 1 or Ghostbusters 2? 2. 2. 2 with the pink slime. Vigo! Yeah, he is Vigo! And that, that scene when the fucking Statue of Liberty is like walking through Manhattan, it's like, that is a mint to walk through New York, that is amazing. <laughs> that is <literally laughs> It's such a powerful scene. I just like the Hellhound thing. I didn't, Hellhound? Yeah, that's, that's one. Oh, is that one? That's one. I like them both. That's <laughs> with uh, Goza. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, anyway. anyway Sorry, get back to DD. A bit off topic, but what the hell? So you just hear this shh. Right, and all the so we'll, we'll kind of we'll we'll we'll, we'll calmly all the chattering. We'll, we'll we'll calmly walk 
into the middle of the room. Okay. That seems like a good okay. idea. So you walk into the middle of the room, um, and you get a much better sense of the room. Um, you can see that directly opposite on the other side of the room, there is another wooden door. So um, this one here. On your left-hand side, there's double doors with two windows leading out to a garden. On your right-hand side, um, there is a, um, a kind of... How do I describe it? We Give me one second. Yeah. Um. On on the far right hand side, you can see that there is a um, like a small shrine style altar, maybe about three foot off the ground. Um, and it has a kind of lock box on it. And there's a, a mosaic behind it of two phoenixes kind of coming oh, out of this lock box. Oh, the key. Um, and you also notice the um, swirling around the room, like just gently kind of glancing around the room. Cruising. Are um, ghostly skulls, glowing green skulls all chattering away. Hmm. Okay, so we'll, 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 we'll slowly, cautiously, un, non-aggressively appro- appro- approach this this, this, this lock, this lock box. Okay, I, as soon as you start moving towards it, the skulls rush down towards you, mm. and they start swirling around you, and they're all going. <laughs> Gideon's, around you, Gideon's, um, Gideon's gonna, gonna be like, um, please, we mean no harm. We, we, we just need something. <laughs> okay. Um, you hear shh, and they all shut up, and then you notice in front of the ghost. In front of the lockbox, another ghost has appeared. Um, a full elven male um, in kind of um, very uptight, very proper clothes with um, with um, thin, thin framed spectacles on the end of his neck. <laughs> um, he goes, shh, and all the um, spectral skulls go and fly behind. But, but I'm gonna, Gideon's gonna go to uh, Hannah. No. Gideon's gonna go, Hannah, Hannah, what's an elf? What's, how do you greet an elf? <laughs> how, what's the elvish greeting? She said, um... <laughs> Vulcan. Vulcan, we live long and broad. She says, um, I'd say... Point to you. She said, I'd, um, I'd say a bow. About, about, okay, so how far... We're in the middle of the room. You're we've we've walked a little bit. How far is this thing to where we are? Is it in front of the, the it lockbox? It is about um, two and a half metres in front of you. It's stood in front of the lockbox, and these skulls are behind it now. You can see that there's actually nine skulls. They look like very small skulls of children. Okay, Gideon is gonna Gideon's basically gonna go gonna 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 go um, gonna, um, gonna like hobble hobble a little bit closer and then and, and then kinda like 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 bow curtsy and go Gideon Morningwood at your service. He bows back to you. Um I'm gonna I'm gonna step forward, give a little curtsy as we do. Like, um we were given this key and hold out the key and say, um a very quiet voice, obviously, because it's what I bring. Yeah. Yes, yes, and it's very uh, we were just a shoot. We were just wondering if it went into that box. Um, he doesn't say a word, and he slowly begins to walk to your path. Very calmly, just slowly begins to walk to your path. <laughs> okay, so a bit. Are the are the skulls following uh, 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 At first, I'm, I'm going to be. I'm going to be just again quietly because it because it because it, cause it is a library. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna basically just go. Do, do, do you do you understand the the common tongue, uh, sir? He puts his hand out to shake your hand. <laughs> no, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm, Gideon's gonna. No, oh God, he's gonna get possessed by a librarian. You, you know, yeah, just, just, yeah. Oh, okay. Come on. Suddenly, he vanishes, and you feel an energy overcome your body. Oh, and you have become possessed. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, you guys are fucked now! I'm <laughs> gonna so, Suddenly, Gideon turns around and casts flames at your party. <laughs> Gideon, roll to hit. Oh, no, I don't have to fight! Oh, this um, is ace! Roll to hit Grumbug. Okay. Uh, everyone's stood together, so I'm gonna hit everybody. Yeah, but you have to roll each one separately. Oh, yeah, of course. So, roll to hit Grumbug. No. 14. So yes. you hit Grumbug, doing d6 damage to him. Please tell Grumbug not to hurt me very much. I'm going to beat the living <laughs> so shit out, out of you. Roll your damage. I said uh, not six. to do it. That's a three. three. So you do three to Grumbug. Oh, you oh, awesome. Now Hannah. <laughs> I love how everyone's that's a nine. And you hit Hannah. Oh, you hit Hannah. You're literally going to hit us every single time that you get a one. d6 damage against Hannah. 
Oh, so oh. Is it Anna for six? Yeah. Bert, I've got a face on. And Lyra? Three. Fuck you. Fuck you. Hit me. Just two. Um, you. Oh, you get plus 11, is it? Yeah. <laughs> 12, 13, yeah. I'm on 13. He just hits you doing these at first. It's a one. I'm just one to you there. Uh, nobody got set on fire. Oh, oh, uh, oh, my and, turn! And, no, 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 not that. And as this happens, <laughs> the uh, nine skulls behind him start going, and they all start swarming around your party. Oh, can not play a game! Is that what she wants? Hannah's, Hannah's, um, Hannah's like a, a cleric, so she should be able By to... By the way, Gideon, I'm going to control all of your turns for the moment. What? No, oh, okay. no, that's, that's fine. That's, 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 you can roll, but I'm controlling you. That's fine. Okay. Please don't hurt me, just knock me out if you can. Lyra, you go. Don't cut me. <laughs> I heard it! Come on now! I heard it sta- no, I'm not. No, um, don't, don't cut me, just just try and knock me out a little bit. Yeah, I probably will. I'm gonna go, and here we go, I'm going to run at Gideon Morningwood, and I'm going to kick him in the balls. Okay. Um, <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Roll to hit. You get epic 20 now. It's a four. Um, you, you probably hit me. You, no, you shouldn't. You, you rolled, she runs up, tries to kick him, and he like stumbles back and you just kick the ass. He stumbles back. Wouldn't he fall yeah. over with his bum? No, it's the ghost. Fucking hell. <laughs> oh! Right, have your second action? Oh, yeah. Alright, I'm just gonna like. Why don't you say Gideon's possessed? That's fine. Yeah, Alright. I think. Because then other people will know I'm possessed. I'm not just turn evil. Talk. Okay. <laughs> no, but I'm sure you realise this. Mm-hmm. Of course. Of course I do. Um, Gideon's possessed. Knock him out or restrain him somehow. You can do an action. I'm just saying that, by the way. That's I am. I'm going there. to, uh, once again, uh, try and correctly chop him in the leg this time. His injured leg? Yes, his okay. injured leg. Uh, roll to hit. Good job! Um, yeah, you hit him. Uh, <laughs> Gideon, can you please make a strength check for me? Yes! One. Um, Gideon stumbles down onto the floor. You like put like crash up into the thigh. Um, his <laughs> leg sweeps his other leg out the way and he falls to the ground and takes uh, one falling damage. You hit your head. Oh, just one just damage. Just one. Oh, you, I don't you need just, to roll. You just hit your head on the ground. Bro, and you're falling. Um, just Run take, take sit one on him. <laughs> <laughs> Back on you. Oh, hey, Jay, do you want to mark his health like you did last night? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, so twenty seven. Grumbug says, what the hell's happening? I just told him, I yelled him. Tell him oh, yeah. what to do. Um, Grumbug grabs his axe and starts trying to swat away the um, skulls, um, but his axe just goes straight to him. No, I've got no magic to help you either. <laughs> like, uh, buddy, um, uh, Hannah could probably do um, something. Because she's a cleric. With no prayers left. She has to not uh, Hannah does a uh, nerve check. Hannah um, just tries to hi- tries to hide behind Grumbug. We need a better cleric. Three, she's four. Just, she's a little girl. She's a little girl. She hasn't seen okay. the horrors see, that we have. See, yeah, seeing Gideon um, fall to the ground, um, all nine of the skulls suddenly just rush in towards Lyra. What? Me? Yeah, you're the one knocked him over. <laughs> um, what's your fortune again? Thirteen. Thirteen. So that's one. One, two, oops, two. Three and a crit. So you take one crit, so you're bloodied. Hello, Mrs. <laughs> Berserk. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna beat Gideon you're gonna beat to death. My, my health, <laughs> and you take one, two, three. Hang on, if I just stay like a fucking another mad injury. You take nine. Do this, do not mean I'm gonna get the potential to die again. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Oh this is bullshit, man! Larry took nine damage from the ghost. They literally just fly through you. So it's am I eight? No, no, you're just, you're just counted as being bloodied, okay. and you took nine damage. And I'm bloodied. And you go with it. <laughs> I'm gonna kill you! <laughs> yeah, she's gonna bloody, bludge you to death because she can't help it. She can't help herself. I know, I can't help herself. So what did I take, nine? Oh, um, by the way, Gideon, when you fell to the ground, you dropped your staff. Nine. Okay. Uh, well, you're right, you're the bad guy. <laughs> you're the bad guy. Um, and it's your turn. So you, you need a strength check to stumble back onto your feet. Can't he just do willpower? It's a 19. No, it's a, it's a 16. <laughs> I can't read. So you manage to stumble back onto your feet, and you suddenly try to fight the spirit away from inside you. So do a resistance check. Oh. Do get underneath twelve. Underneath twelve. Fuck sake. Uh, no, it, it's still taking over your body. <laughs> um, Lyra, you're berserk. <laughs> Hang on a second. I need to figure this out. And you don't have any weapons drawn. Oh, 
Don't cut me. Don't cut me. Still not going to cut him. Can I whack him in the head and knock him out? Yep. Yeah. I do this with love. Night, night, you do. Night, night. Oh, she pounces on you in her fury and punches you square between the eyes. Fuck and gets you. aroused <laughs> and then blacks <laughs> You have to roll over your fortune to not pass out. Nine. <laughs> um, you pass out. Yes! Thank God for that. Um, and you take one damage from getting hit in the head. <laughs> okay, so... He doesn't have to do any roll on the injury table, though, does he? Oof. No, he's passed out. He's not been killed. He's not been taken out. I took out minions! He just fell unconscious. Now it's my next turn. Yep. Flaming sword at the... <laughs> at you the can stalls. use a frightening flaming sword. It's going to take a turn to draw a sword. Yeah, I'll just draw So you get a bucket in, you draw <laughs> lightning blade Bring it in one on, hand bitches. and flaming in the other. Oh yeah. So lightning one hand flaming in the other? Yep. Okay. Well, you've got two you've got two magical So you spin turn, around, draw your two magma forward swords, and that's the end of your turn. Yep. Grumbug, realizing that he can't hit the things, he goes, oh stop this! Throws his axe on the floor, runs over and picks up Gideon's staff. And he tries to stab one of the skulls with Gideon's staff. <laughs> Um, I never thought, I've never used my staff as a melee weapon. Um, okay, so as I he picks up the staff, light. it starts glowing with searing light. Ow! <laughs> and stabs up one and, of and the And Grumbug's skin turns to stone. Um, I know, that's, yeah. what, that's what happens when you pick it up. He, he has a weakness. Uh, yeah, yeah, he gets stone skin as well. Oh, what, what um, he stabs one of the skulls in, he basically just swats one out of the air with your staff. And does... <laughs> um, <laughs> Um, he only does two, but his strength bonus gives him plus eight. He he stabs the spectral skull and goes, ah, and then disappears. Hey, it was a good idea. I put that rune on it. I know, yeah. Good idea, Grumble. Was actually like, yo, fucking living a gentleman. Hannah. Um, Hi. This is what she does. Um, she's really nervous. Uh, she does a nerve check again. No, Fails. She, she goes, Lara, help! And then she dives behind one of the bookshelves. Okay! I'm coming, darling! Um, Don't you Okay, so the skulls. There's eight of them. Fucking pacifist cleric. Um, okay, so still seeing Lyra as a threat, but seeing Grumbuck as a threat as well. Four of them run through each. So Lyra. One of disappears. Um, they all miss you, one of them vanishes. Ah, no, there's only seven. His spirit gets too weak and he dies. And four of them run through Grumbug. Um, one of them actually hits him and does four. And now it's my turn. And um, now something cool happens. Oh, oh shit. Oh, oh sh- <laughs> she was like, ooh, crap. <laughs> okay, well, it's interesting so for him. with Gideon unconscious, the ghost of a librarian rises from his body oh my and God. runs into Lyra. No, you can't possess me! Resistance check. Will power check. It's possessed Lyra. That's possessed, <laughs> that's possessed you fucking hardcore as well. Uh, no, I'm, st- I'm still out on my... Snoring through um, yeah. a little bit. Grumble's the only one who can't get possessed. So, so to try to next round, yeah. Gideon, you need to make a um, fortitude check to wake up. Five. Oh, uh, no, you're still asleep. What? You're probably over your fault. Oh, oh, over, yeah. yeah. You're, you're still unconscious. Um, my, my turn. It, yes, it's your turn. But you're possessed. So I have to fight. Them. So you have to fight. So you run up to Grumbug and slash it in with your two swords. Oh, no. So the red one's the fire one, the yeah. white one is going to be your lightning. Okay. Roll them. Has Grumbug seen this happen? Yes. Yes! I got a critical! I mean a one! You got a one. So you completely miss with your flaming sword, and the okay. ghost isn't quite used to using swords, and you accidentally throw it across the room. Um, and your other one br- um, slashes up towards Grumbug's face, and he ducks out of the way at the last minute. Oh, thank God. Oh, no, you don't get it for the first time. Grumbug's like, Lyra, what's wrong? Um, Grum- Grumbug, um, Grumbug's like, what the hell is happening? And he stabs you in the face with the staff. Oh. <laughs> he just like back out you with a staff. smacks you in the head with the staff. Thanks, man. Does, um, two plus eight. <laughs> Ten, Ten damage. Ten damage. Yeah. <laughs> Right. From a hit that hard, you're going to see if you pass out. Okay. So do a fortitude check. I don't um, pass you, out. No, you don't pass out. You just go, oh, and right, you know it starts to bleed. Oh, why did I not pass out on three? Because you have to get over your fortitude to pass. Oh, sorry, no. <laughs> I was going to say, I pass out. Yeah, you pass out, sorry. Yeah, you pass out. <laughs> so 
Oh you, 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 yeah, you fall to the floor. <laughs> oh, well, that's just, like, everyone's just like snoozing. You fall to the floor unconscious. Um, Hannah looks over and sees um, Lyra fall to the floor. And she's like, what do I do? What do I do? Um, <laughs> and suddenly the ghosts all rush in towards Grumbug. Oh, uh, Grumbug's secretly a fucking troll mage. <gasps> oh my god, possess Grumbug. Um, oh my god. Get a oh, crit god. on Grumbug. Oh, Jesus Christ, I rolled high. Oh, you idiot. A, tw- <laughs> a 20, a 19, a 19, a, 19, a 16, I got a crit 18. in three hits. Jesus. Jesus. Yes, indeed. So the, the crit does one, two, three, four, five. And then the rest do one, two, three. Are you sure so, that hits him? Because he's got pl- he's got better fortitude because of his um, yes, stone skin. Yeah, yeah. Nineteen sixty. Oh, right. And the ghost ignores him anyway. Then hey, what? They ignore armor. The special. Oh right. Okay. Um. So what? What did I say? Sixteen. That was no, six we've got six, six plus six plus five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Oh, so seventeen. Seventeen. Yes. Come on, two. Two health. Shit. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. So with Lyra passed out, um, the ghost. Emerges out of her and um, flies up into the air. It just hovers up above everything. Can I try and. Um, can you see if you wake up? Oh no, I think I get it under my fortune. Yes. Fuck. No, you gotta get over your fortune. Oh, yeah, 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 wake! So Gideon wakes up to see this thing rise up into the air. Grumbug's like reeling back from the damage, holding your staff. Um, as he's all these ghosts swarm through might, him. Might Lyra falls, is down and conscious on the floor, and kind of shaking I don't, I don't need my, my staff just gives me buffs. Just gives you bonuses, yeah. I, can I, I, so I, I've kind of like woken up, like, see this, goes, just, see, notice, possess me. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Duh, just kind of blast, blast it. Yeah. What, what, what okay. should I blast it with? Um, <laughs> this, is, this is the question. Maybe light, maybe light will help against ethereal creatures, like we know it does. Give okay, it's not. Hmm. Maybe fire! I'm, fire, my tail! I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a sparks. Okay, so you blast sparks at it. Roll the hit. You hit 16. it. 16? Yep. That's it. It's a stun as well. Um, can't be stunned. Hmm? It's a stun. Oh, D6. Yep. Oh, fuck. Yeah. One. <laughs> yeah, you, you just about get its foot as it rises up and it doesn't Okay, I'll shoot another sparks. That's 15 again. Yep, you hit it. Two. 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 Okay. Fuck. Wow. Makes sense, I just woke up. This time it pings off its like shoulder, like goes through its shoulder and sparks into the, the ceiling upstairs. My turn. Um, wake, wake, Lyra, see if you wake. Yep. Over Roll my... over your fortune. Woohoo! Lyra wakes up again. So she off. gets up and spring, like rolls up onto her feet. You only have um, your lightning sword. Yep. Yep. Uh, I guess I'm going to. Well, you could put it in your other hand. You could hit. Sword. You could hit the librarian if you jumped. You could jump up and try to sweat it out the sky. So, um, it'll be a jelly check if that's successful. You can then attack. Okay. Do you want to do that? Yeah. Or do you want to try and go for the skulls? Oh, what should I go? I don't know. I don't want the thing. The thing. I'm actually just gonna go to the lake for two seconds. Oh, we need to get Grumbug to uh, to to heal. Um. So. Hmm. What are we gonna do with healing? Healing's not gonna work because I have no healing surges that I can do. I'm bloody down on thirteen health. How many health have you got? I've got like 26. Okay, you've got a lot, so if you can bring, if we can take down the friggin... Librarian dude, yeah, Grumbug's yeah. I'm almost gonna die, maybe, just so you know. He actually might die. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bit upset, actually. I don't want him to die. Especially not like, in, a, in a, like, a, a mild battle like this. In an epic battle, I'd be a bit more okay with him dying, <laughs> but in like, a little battle like this, no. Um, okay, Sparking Blast. Oh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to launch. And the next one's gonna have to be two fireballs at him. Uh, I'm going to. It's her turn. I know. I guess I'm gonna do. When I obviously when I got knocked out, I fell to the floor. And my my sword fell out of my hand. No, I didn't fall. <laughs> Fine. Okay. I guess I'll fright out. Can I not put it in my other flaming sword and then attack? You don't have your flaming sword. I know, but I'm not your flaming sword, sword is your is your ring that gives you the flaming flaming. Like, oh, so you just throw it to the hand. Yeah. Yeah. And then yeah, you do that. yeah. Yeah. So you throw your sword to the hand. A trail of sparks. Flick it through the air and you grab it and it ignites. Oh. So he's flaming with Super Saiyan star sparks all over. Frightening. It's a frightening sword! Super Saiyan level 2 sword. Right, frightening okay. sword. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh. Agility. Agility. Go. Yeah, you jump up and get a hit at, at, at um, the librarian's legs. Go. Fuck my sh- um, a one. And you miss and fall to the floor. Oh, shit. Uh, you'll take one damage from the floor. Well, I've got 12. Okay, so. Um, is it my go again? Yes, it is your second. Yay, I'll do the same! One dice. Um, yeah. 
Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, so you bash your agility, your attack. Don't get it wrong. You hit it. Yay! Okay, so you're gonna do d6 plus one, plus one flaming, plus one shock. So d6 plus three. three. That's pretty good. Six. 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 Yeah. Um, you hit it, it vanishes and appears on the back on the other side of the room where the lockbox thing is. Okay, okay. is it whose turn is it? Um it Grumbugs. is the, it is Grumbugs. Grumbugs does a nerve check and doesn't give a shit. <laughs> um Grumbugs swats at um, one of the skulls again, hits it, and kills it. Boom! How many more skulls is there? There are one, two, six left. Where whereabouts are they in relation to where? They're just swarming above the ceiling. Hmm. Okay, so um, seeing that Lyra and Gideon both did damage to the librarian, three of them swarm into each of you. So the three into Gideon, <laughs> um, they get one hit, just one hit, doing two. And then three go into Lyra, one hit, doing one. Okay, phew, I'm 11. I'm still berserk, by the way. So you know, this was a bad idea. I okay. said every time I go berserk, but it was a bad idea that I decided to go berserk. Okay, so um, the librarian. Um, I'll give two sheets about nobody. Basically, just starts floating towards your party again. Okay, I'm gonna. Can you, can you just get fire. two fireballs on it? Woo, Fourteen and a nine. They will both hit. So it's two d six. Yep. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so it rushes towards your party. You go, send this wave of fire at it. No, it's just fire, fire balls. Oh, fire balls. Yeah, there's two, there's two fire balls at it that kind of spin around each other, focus into a mega fireball and smack it. Yeah, balls. mega yeah. fireball. And when the flames clear, it's gone. The, the librarian's gone, and all the skulls spin around the sky uh, like in a big vortex and go. Ah! Oh, did it kill it? And just vanish. Did it kill it? High five! High five! Bitch, yes! Sweet! How much XP did I get for that? Two. I get two too. Yeah! I am Gideon Morning One Slayer of Ghostly Librarian! Fear my frightening sword! I'm gonna just put I'm gonna put frightening in both my new Frightening's a really let me have said when you leave this room. Okay. To the lock box! I wanna open the lock box. Quickly. Wanna open the lock box. I'll I'll pause it. Three, two, one, and go. Right, toilet break over. So, um, right, so the librarian had no health. No, I had no attack. I had no attack. Ah, right, okay. It just, it, it could just possess the attack through, through yeah. possession. Right, okay. Um, was it actually called the librarian? It was called librarian. Oh, on it. That's cool. That's the last time I trust the librarian. Right. Or a ghost. Or <laughs> ghost. Uh, or floating green skulls. Yeah. So, I'm guessing that the librarian was the, was the controller of the skulls. Yeah, that's why they all vanished from you did. Cool, so, right, um, okay. So, as I was singing before, open the lockbox. So, you're going to go investigate the lockbox? Yes. Okay. So, you want a little altar shrine at the end of the room. Perception 17. Okay, you see that it is a, a <laughs> chest about, I don't know, two foot by one foot, about. Yep. Um, it's made out of um, a deep red wood with um, silver edgings. Um, it's got a little clasp at the front. And like I said, behind it, mosaic, big, two big phoenixes. Do you want to see if it's uh... trapped or anything? Can I, can I see? Can I see? Can I do arcana check on it? See if there's arcana. Yeah. I can see anything. It's an eighteen. You sense no magical traps. Can I do dungeoneering? You do that on chest, don't you? Dungeoneering. Yep. Um, Finally. Which, dungeoneering would show you if there was any um, like uh, traps. Yep. My dungeoneering happens to be minus two. So let's okay. get a look at these eleven. Um, you Okay, I'm just gonna open it. I'm gonna get the silver so key. See, see, if it'll, see if the silver key fits first. Yeah. Um, there's no place for a key to go. What is the lock? There's just a clasp. Oh, okay, I'll open the clasp. Okay, you open the clasp, it opens. Oh. <laughs> we went through all that trouble for nothing. Okay, what's in here? It's a mimic! You open it up and you see inside that there is. Oh, you stop looking at me. I'm not my looking, I'm looking at you. <laughs> you see inside that there are two books at the bottom of it. Yes. And on top of it, there is a pair of spectacles identical to um, the ones <gasps> the librarian was wearing. And there's also the handle of a sword, like just the handle of it. Oh, maybe it's a lightsaber. <laughs> 
No, this is fantasy. Pick up. Take okay. it. Take I it all. This is fun to see. We take it all. It's a magical yeah. lightsaber. Well, uh, he takes the books. I take the spectacles. It's a beam of pure light. <laughs> if you're looking down into it, it's full of these two books with the glasses and sword on top. Of take it all. Take it all. I'll take them both then. Okay. Um, so you get you get the, you, you took it all. Okay. Um, as you picked up the sword, a blade of flame came out of it. <gasps> that is a magical oh, lightsaber. Oh, it's fire! Fire! That's amazing. It's mine. It's mine. You can have it. Have the box. I can stick my sword. So. I know my flaming sword. <laughs> so <sword. sad. laughs> That's cool. Okay. So you you picked up all this stuff. Yeah. What do you want to do with it? Right. What are the books? Um, are, you gonna, are you gonna give them to me? Or? Sure, here are the books. Um, you look at them and you realise they're both in Elvish. Fuck. <laughs> Anna, what are Anna, can you. One looks relative. Well, not new because it's been there for ages, but one looks relatively like within the last hundred years made, and the other one looks ancient as fuck. Hannah, can you uh, Maybe possibly. Yeah, like, Hannah, like, she's still hiding. Oh shit, Hannah, Hannah you come out thing. now! Grumbug's like, ugh, ugh, like using your staff as a walking stick. Grumbug, don't <laughs> break my staff! <laughs> Yes. I'll go get her. It's not really my concern right now. <laughs> Boy, I wish I had a drink. <laughs> Hannah! Come out from hiding. I need you to need your help. She says, uh, okay. And oh. then she, she scuttles out okay, the water. It's okay, Hannah. Don't worry. We fought the bad nothing Yes. Um, I do apologise, everybody, for uh, for attacking you. I was, qu- I was quite you possessed. You're a bit thin. You should, don't worry. I was quite possessed. <laughs> okay, so what do you want to do? Um, Hannah, could you possibly have a look at these books? She says, yeah, yes, of course. Um, she looks at one, she says, um, she burps, <laughs> and then she says, um, one appears to be a spell tome, and, yes. the, and the other one appears to be a, um, a translation book for a- ancient elfish. <gasps> oh, Hannah, Hannah, I believe this translation book is yours, and then I'll read it as well, if you can teach me. <laughs> you really can't learn. Okay, you there. there you go, Hannah, you can translate the other two books as well, then. There we go. Yes, but it'll take some time. Well, um, do you want to, like, make camp in this says, room, then? She says, uh, this is a spell tome for Envision, by the way. Envision? What's that do? Basically gives you limited X-ray vision. Oh, so you that. could see through a wall into the next room, or you could see into a chest to see what was in it. Or see under people's clothes. Possibly, if you really want yes. to see. Yes! The possibilities are endless! Hey, Lyra. <laughs> Things like that. It basically gives cost. you a minute's worth of low-level X-ray vision. It's fucking sweet. Right, okay. Um, well, should we, should we make should we make a base camp in this library whilst we like read up and like get stuff on the go? Yeah, if you want to. Okay. So. Um, uh, actually, it might be a good idea for um, Hannah to do that. Um, yeah. 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 Yeah.